Hard Lens with another episode in our Garbage Pail Kids Sapphire series. Before we start, I want to thank everyone who's subscribed. Uh, it's amazing to see the response here on this particular series of videos we're creating around Garbage Pail Kids Sapphires. My personal goal is to get to 50 subscribers by this time next week, so please hit subscribe if you haven't already, and let someone know uh, about these video series if they're into buying and selling Garbage Pail Kids Sapphire. Also, a couple updates for the community. Uh, number one, I've talked about uh, Steve's breaks and SPK breaks. He's putting the auctions up on eBay. He's got another 25 box break that's going to be live tonight. So I'd definitely subscribe to his channel, uh, hit the bell for his notifications, and check out that uh, live break tonight. It's always a lot of fun. There's a good community in there, uh, a lot of good chatter, and he's got the hot hand. He's pulled four one of ones already. He's already pulled the nasty neck. So we're expecting the atom bomb tonight. You never know. So check that out. Also, um, check this out. This video from Elite 305 Cards. This is the first Gem Mint 10 Atom Bomb base card that I've personally seen a video of. It's really good to look at the video. It's high def, and you can really get a sense of what a Gem Mint 10, PSA 10, uh, base card is for this series. My expectations are going to be a lot more cards coming back from PSA over the next month, two, three, you know, as they get through their backlog. Um, so this will help you appraise maybe if you want to submit your cards to PSA. Um, uh, other news I'll share is the highest price red outside of Nasty Nick and Evil Eddie just sold yesterday. Uh, as always, you know, click on Slab Watch here to get the true sold price. But as you can see, Dead Ted sold for over thousand dollars, ten thirteen. So a strong signal there. Uh, and also the highest price Pod Parasha sold as well yesterday. So um, you know, these four, the listing price was higher, but if you clicked on the Slab watch links, you'd see what the actual sale price was. Interesting to see that this card, uh, Mixed Up Mitch, 81B, sold for $2,000 at Buy It Now. Um, so another strong signal in terms of these premium cards, the one of ones, uh, the reds, the slash fives, the out of fives. Um, I actually think there's going to be a lot of growth in those areas, the Pod Parashas, the reds, uh, the purples and the golds. I'll do another video on why, um, my theory around that. Back to the uh, tracker here. Here are the updates. First, we've added just a ton of hyperlinks here. So on the left-hand side, every single character is hyperlinked. So if you're in the market for buying Harry Mary, just click on this, and that's going to take you to all the uh, current listings for that particular card. Um, also, if you're trying to complete maybe the uh, purple um, you know, set or the gold set, simply click on the links up here, and that'll take you to all listings for that particular color. Um, finally, at the bottom, there's links also to our minimum buy it now and current highest auction. Um, so if you click here, you'll get the minimum buy it now for purple, right? So let's click through. Um, it's $204, 200 plus $4 shipping. Uh, this is sorted by lowest price. As you can see, there's actually a lot of purples out there, both in Buy It Now and Auction. So if you're looking to complete the purple set, now is probably a good time to move on that as well. Uh, final thing, we put hyperlinks to every Pod Parasha. We've heard feedback that tracking each Pod Parasha card, whether it's been sold, whether it's been seen on a break, um, whether it's currently for sale on eBay, is important. So for example, the newest Pod Parasha to show up is 21A, Virus Iris. This is at auction. Really interested to see um, how that particular auction um, ends up. Also on the character index, we've just loaded this up with hyper with hyperlinks as well. Um, as a reminder, this will show you what the most valuable cards and least valuable cards are uh, in the set. The top four won't surprise you, but J to K always does surprise me at number five. Fry and Ryan continues to be strong. Uh, at number six, dead ten at number seven, and so on. Also, interesting to note that D poor Doug Plug here at 65% is at the bottom. I don't know why Doug Plug's not getting uh, more love. I actually like that card a lot. Um, so let's see if we can bring him up maybe in the coming weeks. Uh, and then finally, with our ASP tracking, we continue to track this every week. Um, uh, every few days, we'll kind of update it. You can see the trend chart here. Um, we've also started some analysis of A names and B names and also OS1 versus OS2. So starting in A and B, um, anecdotally, I had noticed that A names seem to 
sell for more than B names. And that makes sense, just given that A is first. Um, also, you know, Adam Baum, Nasty Nick are uh, have a pretty big disparity between their uh, counterparts, Blasted Billy and Evil Eddie. Um, but uh, if you look at it across the rest of the cards, those non-four cards, as a reminder, those are the four star cards we're tracking. All the others, the 162 other cards we're calling the common cards. If you look at all the rest, it's pretty close. The A names sell for 103% of average, and the B names 97% of average. Um, also, when you look at OS1 versus OS2, you see that those four star cards really do carry the overall value of that particular set, at least for Sapphire. Um, right? You've got uh, OS1 all uh, cards selling at 149% of the average, um, but if you just look at the common cards, right, OS1 commons are selling at 107% of the average, and OS2 commons, uh, which is the entire OS2 set, there are no stars, quote-unquote stars in the OS2 set, at 93%. So really, if you take Nasty Nick, Evil Eddie, Adam Bomb, Blasted Billy out, again, you're pretty close here between OS1 and OS2, and that actually surprised me. Um, if you look at other Garbage Pail Kids Sapphire set, like the original series uh, from the 80s, I think there's a much bigger disparity. Also, we've started to look at some of the um, digital cards that are for sale on the Wax blockchain uh, and looking at the disparities there between the different cards and a lot of interesting data coming out about that. Anyway, to recap, uh, new OS1, OS2 breakdown, A and B names. We continue our ASP tracking over time. Character index has uh, the hyperlinks, and then this is loaded up with hyperlinks. We've also updated this completely today. Uh, please keep the feedback coming. Please book any comments, questions uh, at the bottom of this video. And uh, again, really appreciate your subscription, uh, your engagement here on this topic. We're loving this set. And thanks again. Have a wonderful day, guys, and we'll see you on the next video. Take it easy.